hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to explain to you this new project which is called as entropics and this project is based upon a very fine small language model called as small lm which is i believe one of the best small language model under 500 million parameters i already have covered small lm in great detail on various variants plus from various angles so please search the channel and should be able to find heaps of videos around it so what we are going to do in this video we are going to have a look at what exactly this entropics is the whole project and then we will use a google colab free version with t4 gpu to actually combine it with small lm model and we will see how it works so let me first try to explain what exactly this entropics is in as simple language as possible entropics aims to improve the model's ability to understand and generate content like text by using a concept called entropy entropy simply measures uncertainty or randomness imagine it like a foggy horizon low entropy means clarity while high entropy means uncertainty entropics wants to use entropy to identify areas of uncertainty in ai generated content it its focus is on computing resources on those uncertain areas and it generates better more coherent content the project draws inspira inspiration from human communication where entropy and variance which is also called as verentropy can indicate subtle cues like uncertainty or potential entropics could enable ai models to produce more accurate and relevant results similar to advanced models like chain of thought or entropics but with less computational power in essence entropics explores using entropy to refine ai's content generation capabilities making them more context aware and efficient so that is what entropics is doing in simple words and both entropy and verentropy are the keys to this deeper attunement they are the subtle signs the whisper of uh, the inner world learning to read them is like learning a new language the language of potential of becoming yes i'm reading it through their github repo this is a simple poetry now i have tried to explain this whole entropics in simple words and i would highly suggest you go back to their github repo and read through this because it's very very nicely written and it's a there's a very good personal touch there so that's said and done let me take you to the uh, google colab where, where we will be creating a notebook and i will be using plias notebook so really hats off to them for sharing it and i will drop the link to this notebook in video's description so do check them um, out and so don't worry about copy pasting these commands now heads up this notebook contains a lot of uh, machine learning stuff too but our main focus is to see how this entropics project uses this very small model like small lm and then make the inference quite coherent so much so that in some of the benchmarks it has um, really competed with closed source models like open ai models and entropics cloud models so let's go and check it out before i do that let me give a huge thanks to our good friends at agent ql who are sponsoring this video agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is quite robust and it helps and uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and i will also drop the link to their website in video's description so let me take you to my google call app let's go to runtime and change the runtime to t4 gpu okay so that's set and done let's do some initial prerequisites install like tick token and tyro the good thing about google call app is that it 
comes pre-installed with torch and transformers so we don't have to really worry about those so let's wait for these to get installed and then we will proceed further so these three libraries are installed tyro is simply a, a python cli uh, manager and tick token is a tokenizing library whereas blob file lets you handle large binary files so next up let's import these shouldn't take too long let's wait for it to get imported and that is done next up let's uh, set our model id and as i mentioned earlier i'm just simply going to use small lm here and within just 360 million parameters that's it and now let's specify our config let me first paste it and then i will explain what is happening here now this code if i go up is defining a configuration for this uh, large language model it is specifying the model architecture parameters defining the model parameters and then creating an instead of the um, llama 1 billion parameter so and after of course defining the class and this one has just defined the class next up let's again uh, import some of the libraries because we need to now download the model which we have specified so this is where i'm just simply specifying uh, our uh, libraries like torch transformers which i mentioned earlier so now that's done let me now download the weights let me paste the command here now this command this looks scary but let me try to explain in simple words now in this code chunk all it is doing it is simply mapping hugging face layers names to this custom layer names specifically for this small lm model so it is removing uh, some of the dot weight suffix from the input keys and then also the prefixes and then replacing hugging face layers names with the custom uh, names which are required by this project that is all it is doing so it is matching the custom model architecture with the pre-trained uh, model and then it is downloading the weights from hugging face as you can see it so let me run it it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it it's a very small model as you can see just 724 meg that's it and that was done fairly quickly next up let's load the weights onto our gpu device and not only this new code if i just scroll up here so in this code what is happening it is just checking for available devices whether it is cpu cuda and then it is defining two named tuples layer weights and xfmr weights to structure the model weights and then it is loading the weight from the npy files in the specific directory using jacks and numpy and then it is converting the weights to the torch tensors with bfloat 16 data type and moving them to the selected device and then it is organizing the weights into layer weights and xfmr weights instances and all of these weights they include some tokens some embeddings layer norm output weights lot of feed forward stuff which you really don't have to worry about if you don't want to delve into that machine learning mumbo jumbo okay so that is done another interesting bit is that the plies has also made some changes to the tick token tokenizer so let's download the new one which they have modified so tokenizer is downloaded now so but we need to use it and in order to use it we would need to uh, define a custom tokenizer class for text encoding and decoding so let me cancel it here and then paste it here there you go so you see if i just go up here so all we are doing we are importing the libraries and then we are defining this custom tokenizer class and this has been built on the hugging face pre-trained tokenizer fast it loads the tokenizer configuration from tokenizer.json which we downloaded as it supports special tokens and provides a method for encoding text into token ids and decoding token ids back into text the class also handles long input strings by splitting them into substrings to avoid exceeding maximum token limits that ensures efficient processing for nlp tasks as you can see here in this function 
so let me run it should not take too long that is done next up let's specify our kv cache class so let me try to explain what is happening here let me go up okay so now here we are defining the kv cache class which is a pytorch module designed to cache and update key value pairs in transformer model so what it is doing here is it is initializing key which is k and value v tensors with zeros using bfloat 16 data types and stores them as buffers on specified device it could be mps CUDA or cpu the class provides methods to update the cache with new key value pairs repeat them along the sequence dimension and clear the cache this caching mechanism optimizes transformer models by reusing key value pairs reducing computational overhead in attention mechanism and is suitable for long range attention or caching application that is all it is doing with this clear function so let's define it and that is also done okay next up let's define the attention statistics so if i go up here looks a bit of a scary code but all it is doing it is defining the uh, or tracking the attention statistics in the model and utilizing pytorch it is selecting the optimal device again cuda in our case and stores entropy and variance of uh, entropy which is where entropy tensors along with the number of layers and attention heads and this class is providing method for initializing calculating average entropy and standard error and updating statistics based on the attention scores this enables analysis and monitoring of attention mechanism offering insights into model behavior and performance and this is where entropics is also at the play and you can see that we have also run it and it, it has installed fairly quickly okay so now <clears throat> let's apply that to our model whatever we have created so far and let me paste the code here again if you you don't really have to worry about all of these weights and feeds and formers because these are simply uh, sampling it and then initializing it which we have defined above and this is all what happens behind the scene but if you are interested in learning how to actually go at the layer level of a model and then check these layers out and all this weight then feel free to do so okay so let me also run this so again this is again checking the entropy and where entropy that is done and now let's check out the main function where we are applying the scaling to the model and then we are building the attention mask with the kv cache let me paste the code here again i'm not worrying about the intra cases of this code at the moment let's initialize this model and i'm just going to initialize the model here and it is going to take a bit of a time it is now using all the stuff which we have uh, specified above and that is all done let's now generate some text here so i'm just going to ask it uh, what is the capital of spain and this is now entropics is working alongside with that small lm so let's wait for it there you go so it says the capital of spain is madrid now let's try to ask few of the hard questions so this question is quite infamous which one which number is larger 9.9 .9 or 9.11 even open ai's models have uh, failed this a lot of times now there you go so model understands what is happening it says the question is a bit tricky and then you see that um, it has given us a correct answer which is quite good and look at the reasoning and remember it is such a small model just 350 million parameters that's it okay let's ask it another question so i'm asking it write 10 sentences ending with the word happy let's see what it does here there you go so this one it has failed royally so i'll move on let's check another one i'm asking it how many l's are there in volleyball let's see if it is able to count them there are four of them should be fun and the model has got it all wrong okay so i think it not even didn't even count the total number of letters in volleyball it's 10 not 16 anyway let's try out another one 
so it's a reasoning question i'm asking it a bat and a ball together cost one dollar ten cents the bat cost one dollar more than the ball how much does the ball cost the correct answer is five cents so let's see what it does here so you see okay i think uh, it's not giving me the final answer but doesn't look correct to me you see the total cost of ball is this and then it is hallucinating a bit anyway but still i think good enough in terms of the simple questions and how it is improving but as soon as i have started giving it bit harder questions it is failing but the concept is quite interesting i must say especially um, when you consider the fact that if we want to bring in more intelligence with entropy and verentropy to such small models that is something because um, if we can't have larger model higher models and if you want to bring in more intelligence maybe this is the way to go and it's a very very early stages of research so i'm hoping that it will improve a lot anyway interesting um, project i think i will be keeping an eye on it i will drop the link to this notebook in video description play around with it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you